हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू करियर थ्री सिक्सटी टूडे बॉप यू गोट डिस्कस इज द पी आर कॉलेज इन द कंट्री विच आर ऑफर्ड बाय द प्लानिंग एंड आर्किटेक्चर कॉलेज अराउंड द कंट्री राइट एंड द रीजन बाई वी डूइंग दिस इज लॉर्ड ऑफ यू हू एपी एफ थ्रू जेई मेन एग्जामिनेशन obviously want to get into one of the architecture or planning colleges in the country and what we listed out for them are the best of the lot that we have in the country right and this of course are largely public institution because we are going through the josa counseling and trying to understand through the josa counseling what are the colleges you like to to get yourself into and what kind of scores what kind of marks what are the prospects what kind of companies come in for placement what kind of median salary you will get all those things is what we going to discuss in this particular thing right to begin with and and i keep saying it is for br only just be very clear it's only for br we are not talking about b plan at this point time we are dealing with br only now let's look at the basic structure right in je main whenever you dealing with anything the paper one is for b and b tech which is the je main what you call it and then you have a paper 2 which is for b arc and b plan here also you actually have paper 2a for b arc and then paper 2b for b plan what we discussing is only this part of it we are not discussing this part right and what kind of rank that you need to get in br for the paper 2 a so that you get into one of this colleges that's what we are discussing now more importantly when we discuss this no it should it's very important for you to understand what are the prospects that you have when if you want to get into the br uh, courses that you have in the country right now typically the kind of companies that come for pla uh, you know placement are the architecture companies right you have one being the architecture companies two you actually have most of the real estate companies coming in right then you have the urban planning and consulting firms coming in right then you have the other international architecture and those kind of things right now these are kind of companies that come for placement when you do a, a br program what are the median salaries i will discuss it as we move along so what are the kind of roles that you get here you actually get a role of an architectural designer right then you get urban planner then you have interior designer at times right project manager for at construction site and then sustainability consultant you know uh, environment consultant all those kind of things also are somehow plugged into these roles but typically these are kind of roles that you get and these are kind of companies that come for placement and most importantly if you're doing br you can be on your own you can be an architect you can start your own practice and start working with companies independent of actually wanting to work for any other company and lot of architects actually start their own practice the way a lawyer does his own practice the way a chartered accountant does their own practice if you're an architect it gives you a lot of scope to create your own practice and which is where lot of people prefer br right so having understood that let's go to the next level the first thing should be going to discuss is nit calicut nit calicut was established in 2002 right it's an institution of national importance when you say ini it means it's a separate act the government of india works with it no one else can step into the whole thing right the total students they have is 280 of which male is 52% and female is 48% this is a very good ratio for these kind of uh, institutions because typically information technology institutes have about 70 or 80% being male and 20% being female but in this particular case because we are dealing with br possibly that you actually have 50 to 48 which is a very very good ratio that we are dealing with the fee range is about 8.25 lakh rupees for the entire course and when you look at placement in 20 to 23 they had about 89% placement at a median salary of 5.3 lakh so you actually have a decent salary and most of the students getting placed the others might have preferred to start something on their own but that's where we stand at this point time as far as nit calicut is concerned what is it that you require to be a part of nit calicut let's look at the uh, cutoffs for ews and all let's first i'll just deal with open and the others you can actually read through in terms of the categories right for the open category you need a 271 as the closing rank for the home state for the home state and for the outside the state is 372 so you need to be in the top 300 400 in the country to be a part of nit calicut to pursue a pgark as far as paper 2a is concerned top 300 400 only then you stand a chance right and then you actually see the other categories and how it works out you'll exactly understand by the way these ranks that you're dealing with 
is intersame merit, which means when we deal with SC, we're dealing with a rank within the SC category and 107. Don't confuse this 107 with 271 because it's not the same. This is a category rank of 107 within SC that you will get into this. It's not all India rank because in all these things, you actually create an intersame merit rank within the category and that's what we're dealing with here. Right. Same thing with OBC and same thing with EWS and everyone. Now the next one we're dealing with is the Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology in Shibupur. Right. Here, now this was established in 1992. It's an INI also. NIRF rank is fourth best in the country. Right. For architecture. Remember this. This ranking is for architecture. Not the overall ranking for the university or institution. It's only for architecture we're talking about. Because NIRF has a separate ranking for the architecture colleges in the country. Right. The total students it has is 117. Of its 45% are boys and 55% are girls. Very, very good in terms of gender diversity. Right. The fee is 6.8 lakh rupees only. And last year, it placed 100% of its students at 5.75 lakh rupees. So obviously, it's done wonderfully well for itself. Right. What is it that makes you get there? Open category, rank 398 if you're in the home state. And rank 1105 if you're outside the state. So, unlike normal BTEC programs, CSC programs and all where, you know, all India uh, quota is much more competitive, you realize that in these particular institutions, the all India quota is less competitive, the home state is more competitive because it's BR and it's specialized and it goes, goes by the demographics of the country of where you stay is what where you apply for, right? But this is where we stand. And then you actually see the other category ranks also very clearly, you can understand where we stand. Then the next one we're discussing is the SPA. This is... Perhaps the oldest of the you know, planning and architecture colleges in the country that we have. This was established in 1941, much before independence. Look at the building, it's beautiful, it's heritage, it's beautiful. In the sense, you, you see a lot of history in every part of the building that you see, see of the spa in Delhi. Right. Now, this is also an INI, ranked fifth best in the country by NRF. I consider it to be far, far better than what the NRF ranking is because it's the oldest and the best and most competitive. You'll see that in the ranking that we do deal with it also. Total students is 681. Total male is 50%. Female is 50%. Right. Fee range is 4.88 lakh. So it's the lowest of what we've seen till now. The others were 6.5 and 6.8 and 8.25. So this is 4.88. And you see this 83% placed at 6 lakh rupees. Now when you actually have the, this kind of number of students, 681 as compared to 200 and all what the others have, this is extremely, extremely good. Right. And at 681 intake also, you, if you look at the kind of competition it has, you need to be in the open category, 238. 205 for all India. Right. And lowest closing rank is 238 in the open category. So look at the kind of competition that it has as far as this institution is concerned. By the way, because this has both planning and architecture, the total number of students there is slightly higher, but it also includes planning. But within architecture for paper 2A, this is the kind of thing. Whereas if you recall the other one, it's dealing with 350, 400, 450 and all. Here it's so competitive, so it's dealing with 205, though the intake is so high. So which means that essentially anyone who gets into a good range will want to go to Spa Delhi. Right. And then the other category ranks also are here. The next one we're discussing is NIT in Trichy. This again is established in 1964, right? NIR ranking is eighth. It's an INI. Total students is 286, 50% here, 40% here. Because this data we've taken from NIRF, uh, uh, there seems to be a very clear thing that 10% is getting missed out because it's only adding up to 90%. So some data flaw here, but we are reproducing what NIRF showed. So we're not looking at anything else here because we always show data from authorized sources and we don't want to, you know, second guess the data that is coming from the government of India. So this is what it is. The fee range is 7.88 lakh and 88% students placed at 4.8 lakh rupees, right? And this is in Trichy, right? Now, what is essentially happens here, if you look at the closing rank uh, here, it's decently competitive. At the home state, you need to be 318 and outside the state is 348. So Again, under 400. So if you actually see this whole thing, you'll realize that you need to be a less than 500 rank to be a part of any of these NITs and SPAs, the better ones that you're dealing with. The next one we're dealing with is an NIT Roorkela. NIT Roorkela was established in 2002. NI again, ninth best rank, 97 students only, 65% being boys and 35% being girls. Fee range being 7.8 lakh. 80% of students were placed at 4 lakh rupees. It was much better in 2021, but it seems to have fallen from 100%, it's fallen to 80%. From 6 lakh, it's fallen to 4 lakh. So there seems to be some concern.
done here, but I don't know how correct the data is, whether the NRF has self-corrected the data that was submitted by the institution. We need to look at that, but these were the data is at this point in time, right? Now, uh, what do you need to be? It's very less competitive if you to look at it. Within the state, it's about 1,118 home state quota you will get into it. But outside the state, at 439 rank, it's very, very competitive. And that's the kind of rank you need. Then comes the uh, Vishwasila National Institute of Technology in uh, Nagpur. It's a very, very good institution. I'm surprised it's ranked 10th best. As an institution, it's much better. Maybe for BR, it's likely not as good. But 10th best, established in 2007, INI, male 45%, female 55%. Fee range is 10.95 lakh. And look at this, 100% and 6 lakh. So I'm surprised that it's ranked 10 best and after all those things, because these are the kind of performance is done very, very consistently across the board. You see 100%, 90%, 100% at 6 lakhs and above, whereas others are placing 80, 85% at 4, 4.5, 5 lakh rupees. Right. Now, what do you need to be uh, to get into that? Again, you will see it here. The open category is 847 uh, for the highest closing and 1350 is the lowest closing. Outside the state is more competitive at 803 and 1002. And uh, you also can see the other category ranks here. Right. The next one is the School of Planning. Again, I told you, SPA is always, always very competitive. So, the next one is SPA Bhopal. It's an INI established in 2008, ranking 12th. Total students say 479, 40% boys and 60% girls. Right. Fee range is 6 lakh rupees. 100% placed at 6 lakh rupees. Right. So, obviously, it is doing very, very well for itself. You see the building out here. Now, the next part of it is, you know, what kind of rank you would need. You need about 543 rank at All India level to be a part of SPA in Bhopal and 754 as the last rank. Then you have the MNIT in Jaipur. Now, this is a very good institution. It might be ranked 15th in architecture, but trust me, it is far, far better as far as engineering is concerned, the BTEC courses are concerned. It's got 51% being boys, 49% being girls. 15th NRF rank, 2007 established. Here, if you see, 96% students placed at 3.99 lakh rupees. It's been falling 6 lakh, 4 lakh 80 and 3.99. So, there seems to be some kind of a concern here in terms of the way it's performing. The trending is not, doesn't seem very comforting for anyone. But as a college of engineering, it's very, very good. Maybe as college of architecture, it needs to pull up its socks as a seat at this point in time. Right. Now, what are the kind of ranking uh, ranks that you need? It's not very less competitive if you just think through the thing. Outside the state, we're dealing with all India quota 745 being the rank for which you need it, up to 926. But if you're within the state of Rajasthan, even 1978 rank and 2524 rank for paper 2 in JE main, you will get into that. And you also see the category ranks out here. Then you have the SPA Vijaywada. This is a new one that's come up very recently. Uh, 2008, it was established, an INI, 16 best ranked, 461 students, of which 51% are boys and 49% are girls. P is the lowest of the lot of SPAS that you see, 3.8 lakh, 100% placed at 5.5 lakh rupees. So, this seems to be doing pretty well for itself, though I at times wonder whether how correct are these numbers, because I do see some kind of variance in some kind of numbers, and by my experience, I can tell you that some of the other SPA, SPA Bhopal and, and those things are far better than possibly SPA Vijayawada, but data says so, so go by the data, but I am giving my opinion at this point in time that I will always rate SPA Delhi and Bhopal better than SPA Vijayawada at this point in time, right, it's a new building, you can see that actually here, right. Now, what is the kind of competition? It's Pretty competitive at 678 and 798 closing rank uh, for open category. And you also see the category ranks out here. Right. Then you actually have the Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology in Bhopal. This again, MNIT is very, very good. NIR ranking is 17 for architecture, 51% being boys and 49% being girls. Fee is 7.19 lakh. 91% students placed at 5 lakh rupees. It's a new building out here, what you see. Right. And uh, the kind of competition that you have is not as much. Uh, if you're outside the state, all India quota, uh, you know, thing, 1084 is what you need a rank and paper two up to 1469 to get into uh, the MNIT Bhopal, right? For BR, again, I'm saying this for BR, all that we're talking of is BR. So what we discuss at this point in time is a bunch of uh, school of planning and architecture and many of the NITs, which offer BR as a program. And the fee ranges, if you notice, it is in 3.5 lakh rupees to about 7.5, 8 lakh rupees. The placement seems to be between 4 lakh to about 7, 8 lakh rupees. The placement percentages is between about 75, 80% to about 100%. But you need to appear for JE main paper 2 
to a speci more specifically to get into any of these institutions and they offer a great option only because if you want to be on your own and you like architecture you want to be on your own then this is a course for you and you can look at that i hope this helps you if you need any more information if you want us to cover any more courses or career paths please write to us in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to cover that for you thank you so much namaskar so